A lot of people have been asking about system analysis, so I would like to give you a brief introduction in this video. Um, anytime we want to create a high quality information system that provides meaningful value for organization, we also need a system analyst whose job is to coordinate um, and carry on this project. So basically, when we say system analyst, their job is to start analyzing the business situation, identifying the demand and the need that's there, and then identify what kind of system needs to be developed, understand the business value, what the system will offer to the organization, and also facilitate the ways that that system will be implemented in the organization. The way I would like to think about a system analysis is an agent of change, which again, it has to coordinate a lot of activities. So when you think about it, your job as a system analyst would be to talk to technical people. These are programmers, um, network designers, system architect designers, and also you need to talk to business people, you need to talk to managers, you need to talk to CEOs and CIOs. And a steering committee, you need to convince them about the value of the project, you need to get the budget for this. And also your job will be to talk to outside vendors, external consultants, anyone who will be involved in implementation of this system project. So as you guys can imagine, a variety of roles are needed for a system analyst. You need to be people oriented, you need to be good with people, a lot of social skills, you need to be a good project management, that's absolutely necessary. You also need to be business oriented, you need to understand the requirements of the business, what's the need for the business. So somehow a lot of people see system analyst and business analyst as complementary roles in organization. So you might need to develop a skills regarding that. You also need to be technical to some point. So you need to understand the code, you need to understand the infrastructure, you need to understand databases and um, kind of tie all this in together. So the past that's common, you get into an organization either as a business analyst or system analyst. If you're more technical, your role will be more toward infrastructure anal analysts database analyst, network analyst, and eventually you can become a software architect manager. But if you come in with that business angle, you will move toward the, the past as a business analyst and eventually a change management analyst, which are both valuable, but depending on your skills, depending on your interests, you might follow different career paths. And this interesting diagram also shows that this is a job that is here to stay. So if you look at the the jobs that are um, least likely to be automated. A computer system analyst or manager it sits among the top where it is not only not likely to be automated but also it pays fairly well in that scale. Again, for instance, you can see teachers. Teachers are also not going to be automated but the pay for system analysts will be um, a lot, lot higher. This also is evident by, if you look at the numbers of at how much a system analyst will make as a starting salary, for instance, 85,000 as a median, top 25% will make over uh, 120 and it's number one job in um, number one IT jobs in uh, business uh, week. So what do system analysts like about their job? Basically, you need to be able to um, embrace the challenge you need to understand the technology, you need to understand the variety, you need to be able to deal with constant change, you need to be a problem solver. So from all this, you might imagine that if this job suits you or not, because it won't be for every personality. It's very interesting, it's very dynamic. You need to be able to manage a lot of frustrations that comes from working with managers, lack of communication, um, increasing demands, stress, burnout, ever-changing business environment, ever-changing technology environment, unrealistic deadlines. Um, and in order to be successful, there are some skills and attributes that you need to seriously con consider if you want to follow a career as an analyst. So you need to be a well-rounded person about knowing about technology and also business. You need to have a lot of soft skills in terms of negotiation, critical thinking, decision making facilitation, influencing people, as well as a service-oriented mindset, meaning that you're going to be able to work with others, help others, make sure that everyone 
comes together in order to deliver this project and the more technical skills you have it's always more helpful again this should give you a good understanding of if a carrier as a system analyst will suit you or not